You are spending time with the servant of Atris. I knew her mother. She was a Jedi knight, a master named Aaron Kai. Jedi are forbidden to have children, and when the crime finally came to light almost a decade later, Kai was exiled. She joined the Mandalorian Wars after the shame of her birth was revealed. Revan welcomed her, and she was said to be a skilled warrior, beautiful and strong in the Force. The Force flows strongly in the blood of those born from Force sensitives. I doubt that Aaron was any different. If the servant of Atris is of her blood, then the potential lies within her. The Jedi separate children from their parents as they did you. It is because family exerts a powerful influence on one's development. I am merely saying that revealing such things can have profound consequences, nothing more. If you train her, if you teach her the ways of the Jedi, you will be asking her to break her oath to Atris. It would be best not to train her and let the bloodline die with Telos. Ah, that was an interesting choice of words indeed. She has sworn not to follow the path of the Jedi by her oath, but even that oath is limited. One does not need to be Jedi to learn the ways of the Force. I suspect it cares little for our codes and philosophies. Once there were only Jedi. I wonder what evil was in such days. And to think once there were no Jedi at all. Perhaps the Force defies such rigid classification of its followers. I propose nothing except what you choose to read into my words. I am only saying that she has sworn not to follow the teachings of the Jedi, and that is a curious distinction in her oath. But we were speaking of the servant of Atris. I would caution you to be careful of your interaction with her. She is not as tempered as you. But there may be a point where you have no choice. You have a curious influence on those around you. You must train yourself first. The time will reveal itself. Yet if you persist as you have building her trust, then you will be training her, whether you know it or not, until the choice is hers, not yours. Before you go, a word of caution. Spend time with her if you must, but recognize where your true loyalties lie to the galaxy and yourself. Ah, so it is loyalty you claim when you squander away your time with her. Never have you wondered what it would mean in the Ichani rituals if the two of you sparred and fought, and you won, completely and utterly. If perhaps she would give in, surrender herself to you. Few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind. Exile. And such passions are not strength, but erosion. No? Then perhaps I was simply mistaken. I cannot help but hear you at times, and such curious thoughts they are, not at all like a Jedi. But I shall keep such thoughts to myself, I think. And you should as well.